What is going on guys, I am with the Moose, and today we're looking at the top 5 zombie maps in Call of Duty history, as you can probably probably tell from the uh, the title and the thumbnail of this video, but um, let's hop right into it with number 5, we're going to start off with Knock Darren Toten, um, this is the map that started it all, it is the first zombies map ever, um, you originally unlocked it in World at War from completing the campaign, but then they updated it, and um, I'm pretty sure if you just hop on World at War right now you can just play it. Um, right away without having to beat the campaign but I know in the beginning you had to beat the campaign and once people started figuring out that you got to play it once you beat the campaign people really started to play the campaign a lot uh, I know that's one of the main reasons why I played it um, and Knocked Aaron Toen is extremely fun uh, I love it because it's simple it's fun but it's still kind of challenging which makes it um, an enjoyable uh, map it's one of the hardest maps to get high rounds on at least for me maybe you guys are zombies experts and you guys know the strategies and everything but for me um, you know, getting to around like 20, 25 on that map was a really big accomplishment, um, especially in World at War where there was no perks on that map at all. So that was pretty interesting, and I do uh, definitely love Knocked Aaron Toen. Now on to number four, we have a Black Ops 2 map, and that will be Origins. This is the most recent map, um, the the latest map to be made in the Zombies uh, universe, I guess you could say. Um, it is technically considered to be a prequel, I believe. Um, to the entire zombies uh, experience, so that's pretty interesting. Um, it's a gigantic map from what I've played. Uh, I didn't play it all that much, in all honesty, but I know a ton of people love this map. Um, the staffs are insane. I have never actually gotten one myself, but I've seen the like gameplay and stuff like that of the buildable staffs, and that's probably one of the honestly biggest things that made me want to put that on my list. Um, those are crazy. Uh, awesome that they put those in the game and I really do enjoy that as well now moving on to number three we have Ascension from Black Ops 1 this was in the first strike DLC map pack um, it's probably the easiest map in zombies history uh, I don't know if there's any easier map if there is you know let me know in the comments down below but it is got it's got to be one of the easiest in, in zombies history um, and that contrasts with Nocturne and Total, which I think is one of the harder ones but uh, I love Ascension just because it's so much fun you get the thunder gun you know, you just mess around on that map. Insanely fun. Um, definitely what made Black Ops 1 Zombies very, very fun. Kino, um, Kino Derto, and in 5 were the first two maps on that uh, that you didn't need the DLC for. And those were okay, but definitely Ascension made it, um, you know, fun. Really, really fun once again. And they also introduced PhD Flopper in that map, which is obviously one of the best perks in Zombies history. Now, uh, moving on to number 2, we have Darius. This is from World at War as well. This is the last map pack in World at War. Um, I personally believe this is the map that made zombies, um, you know, the, uh, the culture, the cultural phenomenon it is today. Um, it is a insanely fun map. Anytime I go back and play it now, whether it's on, uh, Black Ops 1 with their DLC or, uh, in World at War where it was originally, um, either way, it's an insanely fun map. It introduced, uh, Pack-A-Punch, um... There were some insane strategies you could use, like the catwalk strategy was one of my favorites. Uh, we used to put bouncing betties in that little cage back there and just and just ride that uh ride that catwalk forever. But that is one of the greatest maps in uh, zombies history, and that's why I have it at number two. In all honesty, now at number one, it's this is my favorite personally. You guys might disagree. Let me know in the comments down below. But I have Moon. This is obviously from Black Ops One. This is the last map pack in that as well. Um, I believe it was called Resurrection, I think this is the map pack, uh, not, not that important, but whatever. Um, this introduced the Zap Gun, which was one of the coolest weapons in Zombies history, in my opinion. Um, so that's pretty cool. You, you could split it in half, use it um, dual wield or akimbo, um, and then you could put it together and use it uh, just as one gun. It was a crazy, crazy cool gun. Um, and then there was also the zero G component, obviously, because you're on the moon. Uh, that was one of the coolest things. The Easter egg was insane. I did the Easter egg uh, with a bunch of my friends back in the day, and uh, you know, just that map is absolutely phenomenal. Um, definitely the best in Zombies history, at least to me. Um, if you guys agree with my list, let me know. If you disagree, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I want to see what you guys have to say. Um, leave some recommendations for what the next episode of Top 5 should be. Um, I was thinking maybe Zombies perks, but maybe we want to go um, with a regular multiplayer Top 5 um, and stick to Zombies maybe every third episode or something like that. But let me know down in the comments down below. I want you guys to kind of control the series if possible. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below and let me know what your feedback and comments are on my list. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.